Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you officially this morning for a, well, an album review. And this is the one I said I was going to do in my update video last night. And this is for Architects' next, the final Marathon Studio album that I'm doing for their Marathon Studio albums I've been doing for the past two weeks. And this is for All Our Gods Have Abandoned Us. That I just got done listening to. So I'm going to discuss what I listened to for this album. And let you know my thoughts on it. So let's dive into this review. Now I gotta say Sam Carter's blast and all that are just great in this album. Um, Nihilist was really good of a song. I really like the heaviness in the track. And just it was a banger. And... For what it was, it was a little short, but uh, still it made you feel like, oh, this is a great Architect song. And mostly through most of this record, it's amazing uh, how they set this record up. And uh, Phantom Fear is another good song that I really liked. Downfall, I wasn't sure about liking that at first, but I gave it a 5 out of 5. I was like, you know what, Sam Carter's Blaz in it are really good. Uh, and just the raw emotion in his voice. Not as much raw emotion like I heard from Lost Forever, Lost Together. Because that one felt like a very depressive album. <laughs> Felt like a very emotional roller coaster of an album with how he's screaming and singing at the same time in Lost Forever, Lost Together. But this one is awesome. I really like this album a lot. <laughs> uh, Match Made in Heaven. I think that was particularly for uh, what's going on in the world and all that. Uh, so they made that song dedicated to, uh, it said something in the video where they're, were condemned to repeat the same thing or whatever, uh, same outcome or something like that, I'm not sure, but Gone With The Wind's another good song, Death Wish I really like, uh, yeah, Downfall, I wasn't sure if I'd rated a 4.5 or a 5. Because I was in between uh, what to decide for rating it. <laughs> but Empty Hourglass, The Empty Hourglass is another good song from the record. Um, Memento Mori, the final track on the regular edition. Which Silver Bullet is on the Australian Deluxe Edition. So it's a separate edition. I think you can buy it on CD, I don't know, with that song, but if you can't, on the regular edition, which is fine, because I can hear it on YouTube anytime, uh, but Silver Bullet was really good. I was very hesitant on what to rate it, because some of it felt like it was dragging on a little bit, but... No, Sam Carter's blaz in it, and mostly is singing and screaming, kind of yelling, singing, and screaming, too. It's sounding really good in Silver Bullet, the final track for this whole album. Uh, what else? Um, Gravity is another great track I liked. Uh, I do have a little bit to talk about Memento Mori. Uh, in just a moment. Uh, From the Wilderness is another good song. All Love is Lost is another great track. It's a banger. I really like it. Uh, but for Memento Mori, I think that was a tribute to Tom Searle that passed away in 2016 due to melanoma, which is really sad. Rest in peace to Tom Searle. And... Uh, my condolences go out to their band, to the band itself, because I know at the time they were hurting, 
but it's been about almost five years, so it's been a little bit, but not as long. It still is fairly recent, kind of recent, I guess you could say. I don't know. I may be saying the wrong thing, so if I am, please forgive me on that, because I don't mean to say it in a bad way. I just try to uh, be sympathetic about some things as best as I can, or empathetic, too. Uh, but Memento Mori had a few people, one guy talking in it about we are uh, something death itself or whatever. Uh, Memento Mori cheating death itself or something like that. Uh, I don't know what it said, but I'd have to really listen to the song again. But it was a very good track. Um, yeah, Sam Carter's emotion in the song sounded really like he was hurting in this song with his voice. He was singing normally for most of the beginning. And you hear the screams come in and take over for a little bit of the song and then he really goes out towards the end of the song by screaming a lot and that's what i really like about memento mori even though it's a eight minute track it's worth listening to but overall i think uh architects all our gods have abandoned us very epic album it's excellent i really like it um it's probably one of my favorite Architects albums in their discography. It is their seventh studio album. And this, unfortunately, is going to be the last album review I do of theirs. Not of theirs, because I'm doing uh, For Those That Wish To Exist on February 26th. But this is the last marathon album review I'm doing that I've been doing for the past two weeks. So I hope you did enjoy these marathon album reviews I did for Architects. And for a score out of 10, I'm giving it an excellent rating of a 10 out of 10. This is a really awesome album. I really see myself purchasing this album for sure. Uh, it's probably going to have to be in the new year. Or whenever I can get it or whatever. But yeah, definitely comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of the Architects album, All Our Gods Have Abandoned Us, if you've heard it. And if you like this uh, last marathon studio album review that I did for Architects, All Our Gods Have Abandoned Us, comment below and let me know your thoughts on it. Tap like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can to support the channel. Sorry about that ding. This phone always does that. <laughs> so, I guess it's... It's just a thing that it does. I don't know why. Uh, but I will be returning to you for uh, the, what is it? I'm going to be doing a special video tomorrow for albums I'm excited for in 2021. Uh, so that's the title I'm going to do for a special video. And then next week, I'm going to get started on uh, my thoughts on the year 2020 video uh, that I'm going to be doing on the 21st or 22nd, one of those days. But yeah, I hope you did enjoy this uh, Architects All Our Gods Have Abandoned Us album review I made this morning. Did the best I could to make it as good as possible. Um, and I'll also return to you for Corey Marx's, well, it's gonna be Saturday is when I'm doing it, and then Paul McCartney's McCartney 3 album review is gonna be Thursday or Friday, probably at the latest Friday if I come around to it, cause I need to give it a few more listens. I do have the album on download, and I downloaded it already, uh, from Kingdom Leaks. So, yeah, Kingdom Leaks only has, like, a few weeks left of, like, less than three weeks left of it being active. 
And then they're shutting down the website January 1st, which kind of sucks because I really like that website. But sometimes all good things have to come to an end. Uh, sometimes, which it, it sucks, but I know I'll find another website where I can download my music. But thank you for watching this very long Architects Marathon studio album. The last one I did for All Our Gods Have Abandoned Us. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay safe. Take care. And I'll see you in my next video.